<sighs> Middle school. So many fond memories. From the big whiff of B.O. you get as soon as you enter the classroom, to the lunch lines being so long, if you're late, you get nothing on your plate. What isn't there to love? Well, you know what I don't love? Crapping myself in front of everyone and immediately wanting to crawl into a big hole and die! Sorry about the freak out, guys. It's just whenever I remember that happened, I die a little more inside. It's something I gotta live with. Now you do too, because I'm telling you this story. Yay! So as you can probably tell by now, I wasn't the biggest fan of middle school. Oh, but why not, Sona? Middle school isn't that bad. Well, random person, I'm very glad you've had a decent experience. Some people enjoy school, and some don't. I'm number two. And while there's so, so many reasons to why that is, we'll just be focusing on one particular incident. So I was a pretty big art nerd, and everyone knew. I even drew pictures for my teachers and talked about my original characters, so they were well aware of my passion. Towards the end of sixth grade, a really cool event was held where a special selection of art students were chosen to all take a field trip to go to an art exhibit, if they wanted to, of course. My teacher pulled me aside and told me about the event. Hey Sona, we have a special event where artsy students like yourself are being chosen to get a free field trip to a special art exhibit, and we wanted to know if you were interested. Wait, what? Really? I felt so special. This boosted my ego times 10. I was the chosen one. Of course I said yes. So the date was set and in a week I would embark on my journey to the ultra cool art exhibit like the special main character I was. Or so I thought. The date came and I was hyping myself up. We were set to leave for the event shortly after lunchtime. I was so excited. Lunchtime came and as usual I got my lunch and sat down at a table with some friends I talked to at the time. By the way guys going back on what I said in the beginning about sometimes not getting much on my plate because I was late in line. Well, I really wish that had happened this time because I was not prepared for what this inedible sludge was about to do to my insides. But before we get into that, this video is sponsored by Filmora. If you're a content creator, you'll quickly find out searching for music for your video sucks and takes up way too much precious time. Even looking for copyright free music on YouTube isn't always 100% safe. Some of my videos have gotten claimed in the past for it. But thanks to our sponsor, Wonder Share Filmora, you can actually use AI to generate your own music. And let me tell you, it's gotten really good. Let me show you. So here's Filmora and I'm gonna generate some music for this cute clip of a deer. Gonna have the mood be funny. Gonna have the tempo be normal. Theme, vlogs. And let's go with some pop for the genre. And now let's generate some music. Oh, this is super cute actually. I love this one. So we're gonna drag it onto our timeline. And here's our clip with the music. What's also great about this is if you want your music to be a different speed, you can use Femoro's audio stretch tool to speed up or slow down your music. If you want, you can also use Femoro's audio visualizer and the sound waves will dance to the beat of your music. So yeah, that's pretty darn cool. You can also make it a lot more intense and you can even change the color of it, which is super cool. So yeah, these tools are super easy to use. You pick your themes and it only takes a few seconds to generate your music. You put it on your timeline and boom, you're done. That's how convenient this is. Anyone can use these tools. If you want to create content or just want to generate music or use Filmora's many other cool features, then download Filmora for free and get royalty free music instantly with just a few clicks. So yeah, check out Filmora, link in description. Let's get back into it. On my plate was, honestly, I have no idea. But I think it was the usual milk, mystery meat, weird smelling fruit, yeah. veggies, and bread. I don't remember noticing anything off with my food, but I know sometimes my milk would smell weird, and half the time the food looked inedible to begin with. I could honestly make an entire video talking about school lunch. Maybe I'll do that. Anyways, I shoved that food in my mouth hole like it was my last meal. Cause I was hungry. I didn't have much to eat at home, so I always cleaned my plate at school. I swallowed my food like Mr crab swallowing the big pill and just like that I was done but suddenly I didn't feel so good. My insides were dying. My stomach started hurting really bad. So bad to the point where if I stood up, it felt like I got punched in the gut and forced to sit back down. At first, no one around me seemed to notice my pain. Or at least I hope they didn't. I was trying my best to act like I was fine, but I was not fine at all. A few minutes had passed with me writhing in pain, feeling like I was slowly ascending to my grave. It was about to be the end of lunchtime and almost time for me to go on my special field trip, which I really didn't want to miss. And at this point I was panicking because I had no idea what was happening to my insides. But then I realized, oh crap, is this 
Food poisoning? I had guessed it was food poisoning, and I knew it was, because this wasn't the first time I had experienced this. The first time I got food poisoning was when I got food from the local soup kitchen. Bless the people who worked at the soup kitchen, because I was grateful they fed me, but man, did that cheeseburger soup destroy my butt. But I went there every day, and luckily that only happened one time. Anyways, this felt the same way, but it hurt more this time. I don't know what they put in my food, but it wasn't good. The pain only got worse, and suddenly my stomach started started rumbling uncontrollably. If you've had Taco Bell at 3 a.m., you know exactly what this means. P.S. If you're grossed out easily, well, you probably shouldn't have clicked on this video. I felt something coming. No, 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 no. With all my might, I clenched my cheeks as hard as I could. I was terrified. I was in a lunchroom surrounded by half the school. I can't poop myself here. But I couldn't hold it any longer. My bowels said... And I farted. Oh. Oh. I just farted. Okay. I didn't poop myself. I looked around. It seemed like no one heard it. I was so relieved. And so I went on my special field trip and lived happily ever after. Psych! You thought we were done? No! Because my bowels were not done yet. My moment of relief quickly disappeared as suddenly... <laughs> It was at this moment I died inside. I was hoping that maybe, just maybe, it was a fart. A really big one. And it wasn't what I thought it was. But what is that wet feeling? I desperately waddled like a penguin, making my way to the bathroom. When suddenly, Hey Sona, you're just in time. The bus for the event is leaving soon, and we're preparing all the selected students for takeoff. Are you ready yet? <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, um, can you just give me a minute? I need to use the bathroom. Oh, uh, no problem. Take your time. And just like that, I bolted into the restroom. I closed the stall and immediately checked my pants. To my horror, I crapped myself at school. And not only that, a chocolate waterfall was leaking down my leg. If Jesus is real, why would he do this to me? I went to church. I paid my taxes. Actually, no, I didn't do that. I cleaned my room. Jesus, why? Greetings, Sona. Jesus, is that you? Yes, it is I, Jesus. Jesus, why is this happening to me? What? Oh yeah, I actually had nothing to do with that. They really just be lacking in that kitchen. Oh, well, can you at least help me out here, please? Oh, hell no. I ain't touching that. That's your problem. Peace. So with no help from Jesus, I grabbed some toilet paper and attempted to lessen the crime scene. I managed to get it off my legs, and my pants were just a lost cause. With no other option, I hesitantly waddled my way to the school front desk and lied to the staff. Hey, uh, so I feel really sick and I kind of just puked in the toilet. Can I go home? Oh, okay. There was no way in hell I was about to admit to pooping my pants, okay? So I told them I threw up and I probably had the flu or something. I really hope she didn't smell it because I know I did. So yeah, I missed my special field trip that I was so excited for. In the car ride home, I couldn't help but think to myself, does everyone think I'm disgusting now? Did that teacher secretly smell? smell the stench in the air. I went home, changed my poopy pants, and cried. But it's okay because now thousands and thousands of people know this story. Yay! Why did I make this video? Well, I hope you broskies enjoyed this story time. And have you guys ever pooped yourself in school? Cool? Let me know in the comments. But please, for the love of God, don't go too heavy on the details. My eyeballs have been scarred enough. I worked super hard on this video, so please leave a like, and subscribe, and comment, and blah 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 blah. And okay, bye!